morning. It is day 14 of Vlogmas. It is Monday morning again, and it is another dreary day out, but I've been up for a while getting myself ready for the day and doing a few things around the house because I have a morning that I need to spend in the sewing studio or my workspace. I have packages to get out today. Um, if you've pre-ordered a leather tote, those are all ready to go. I'm just taping up boxes and I'll be dropping those off to ship today. So that feels really good to get those out. And I realized that it is the 14th, which means there are 10 days before Christmas Eve. And this is the last week the boys are in school before Christmas break. So I didn't realize how far into December we were. I need to start making some lists and figuring out what I want to bake for Christmas this year. So that'll probably be later this week. But for now, I want to show you where I left off on my Advent socks late last night. I could not put them down feeling really good about where I am. But I do have some other knitting goals, and so I'm hoping I can keep up this week. I need to keep knitting every day to keep up with what I want to do. So my plan was to knit 12 of the stripes on the Cozy Knitter Advent socks before I put in the heels. But I realized late last night that I actually went on to the 13th stripe. I love this blue, so I kind of wanted to get that in there. And I've cut my yarn and I've got my contrast color, which isn't really a color, it's just an undyed Stellina base fingering weight yarn. I had this from back when I was dyeing or trying my hand at dyeing a little bit. So I'm going to put the heels in with that which is probably going to slow me down for a few days because it's not my favorite thing to do. I have not continued the sleeve, the second sleeve of my Felix sweater because I did um, pick up the stitches under the arm for that second one and I knit a few rows and then I realized I think I went in the wrong direction because it was a reverse stockinette. It was a bit of a mess, so I just undid that and I've got my sleeve ready to go again but that put me on pause again. And one of my knitting goals for this week is I really want to cast on, wind up the yarn and cast on my Land of Sweets cowl because I was looking at the first 12 mini skeins from my advent calendar and they are so stunning and amazing that I need to cast those on. I really want that cowl to be on my needles over the Christmas break. So my goal is to have some of those minis wound up and at least cast on by the weekend. But I also want to get the heels in on these socks and do my sleeve, which is kind of a tall order. I've got a lot of stuff to do this week. Maybe I will just time block some knitting time so that I can keep up a little bit. Alexa, play Christmas music. The station, Christmas Carols, on Amazon Music.
I really didn't expect to, but I got very caught up with my Felix sweater this afternoon. I can't say that I'm mad about it. So you guys know that I finished the first sleeve last week and I did kind of make a mess on um, starting the second sleeve. And when I pulled it out and put it back on the needles, I find that when I do that, I sort of lose steam and I put it aside. But this morning's thoughts and talk about knitting goals really made me want to spend some time finishing some things off so I can move on. So I think I've knit, um, yeah, basically from here down, I um, picked up the underarm again and I've knit a few of the decrease rounds already and it's just flying. So I don't have that much more to go. I'm going to keep this nearby so that I can just keep going. I am so excited to finish this. I'm really loving it. And I have to say, if I didn't say it before, just the size of the needles and the yarn, this is a really quick knit and it's so enjoyable. You can really see the progress. It's not like when you're sitting with a fingering white sweater and you feel like you've been knitting dozens of hours but you're really not making that much progress this is such a quick fun knit if you can actually make the time for it so i'm really happy with that and of course what does one do when they're nearing the end of knitting a sweater i think what's normal is you just think about what your next sweater will be right even though i won't be casting on any new sweaters until the new year there are a couple that I've had my mind on for quite a while, and I think now that this one will be done, I can finally pull it aside and or set up a bag and get everything ready to start a new one, but I'm not sure which one. So I have had yarn for the Ingles sweater for a really long time, and I do think that that is a sweater that I would love to wear. So the body is this gorgeous color from, what is this? It's Farmer's Daughter's Fibers and the color is Monarch. I really love that. And then I have this beautiful, um, kind of like a brownish burgundy. It's um, Primrose Yarn in the color Henna. And that would be for the color work. And I am really trying to be more mindful about the sweaters that I choose because they're time consuming. I'm not a super, um, a super quick knitter or I don't really get to knit a lot of sweaters just based on how much time I spend knitting. And so I'm being mindful of which ones that I pick. Um, just thinking about will I really want to wear them and how quick will they knit up? Like, will I lose interest? All that kind of stuff. So I think the Ingalls has kind of been on my list for a really long time. I have not, um, like it hasn't been a fad for me. I think it's a beautiful sweater. So there's that one. And the other one at the top of the list is actually with this gorgeous Chelsea Lux yarn. This is one of the most beautiful colors I have ever seen. It is 80s radio, it's so beautiful. And I think my plans for this are to make either a Millie sweater from Nice and Knit or the Material Girl sweater. And um, I think that would be a really pretty sweater. I also have yarn in here to make the love note with this Hello Stella. It's a really soft and pretty color and I have, um, let's see what I have in here, this gorgeous mohair to go with it. Maybe that will be an early spring sweater. So I'm just dreaming about all of the sweater knitting. Mind you, I will not be casting on any of them right now. And of course up here, I have my beautiful linen quill from Pearl Soho that will be my half and half triangle. So that's also a new year project. Once my needles are cleaned up a bit or cleared, um, that's definitely going on my needles as soon as I can kind of clear some headspace for it. So those are future knitting dreams. 
And for now, I'm just going to plug away at the second sleeve of my Felix. I'm going to try to get those heels into my Advent socks this week. And I'm also going to start winding that beautiful yarn for my Advent calendar. I didn't really have any plans for dinner tonight, which was dangerous with me. That's usually when we end up ordering something. But at the very last minute, I remembered the skinny taste recipe for accini di pepe in the Instant Pot. It is so easy and yummy. The kids love it. And so I quickly defrosted some ground beef. I don't use the same pasta that she recommends. I'm using ditali instead. And I'm really looking forward to that. It's also a very comforting dinner. So I feel like today is kind of cold and it will be the perfect dinner. I'm also really excited to have a bowl of my homemade yogurt with my freshly made granola. I might even have a small dinner so that I can have a bowl of that for dessert. But while that's in the Instant Pot cooking away, I'm just kind of surveying a project that I've had on my mind for quite a few months. If you've been following along for a while, you know I recently had um, floating shelves put in this room and then I also painted the room white. And when we were doing all that, I had purchased a paint kit from Mango Paint or Mango Reclaimed, which is um, a really cool paint and furniture studio in Whitby, Ontario. I picked up a little kit to refinish this piece in white chalk paint and I was really excited about it but I haven't gotten around to it and as time has passed I realized I think I want to do this in a darker color just to kind of contrast everything that's going on in here. This is a really old furniture piece that we had purchased off of Craigslist probably 10 years ago. It fits here perfectly. It doesn't really fit the TV perfectly but that's okay it works for us and i've decided instead of the white that i am going to paint it in this beautiful gray color it's called zachary so this is the um their own brand of paint it's the mango paint line it came with a little brush the beeswax to um finish it at the end a little sanding block and I also purchased a few of these really cute new knobs to put on here I think they will look really pretty so that is a project I'm just trying to figure out what day I can do this because I really need Glenn who is super busy with work right now and he's been helping me so much with my computer issues and picking up leather for me and kind of running around for me a little bit but I really need him to take that TV out of there and all of the cords and whatever's underneath. So I also put that thing here just temporarily. He's got to fasten that to the wall because we really didn't finish when we were kind of updating this room and it would be really nice to have it all done and ready for Christmas next week. So I'm really excited. I think, this, um, I think the darker gray is gonna look beautiful and just make this corner look really sophisticated. So that is my next project. 